In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight, and I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench, until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we hear, Jesus, we hear the Pharisees seeking to kill Jesus. And how did Jesus respond? He withdrew from that place. We, we see later, and, and there are times, when Jesus will confront the Pharisees head on. But now he withdraws. And then, um, and then, and then he, the people followed him, and he cured many people, all of them really. But what did he do? He warned them not to make himself known not to make himself known because it's not the right time, it's not the right place, they don't know who he is exactly, so he doesn't want to make himself known. And then, and then Matthew quotes Isaiah the prophet, um, uh, speaking about the, the Messiah, about Jesus, and how he is humble and meek, how he doesn't cry out in the streets, he doesn't make himself known, a bruised uh, reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench. He is gentle, he is meek and humble. And that's what Jesus said, that to, to learn from him, to take after him, and to be meek and humble of heart. This is something that's kind of rare in our world today. There's so much aggression, there's so much anger, retaliation, ego. And Jesus is the opposite. He said, no, be meek and humble, be gentle. Don't be confrontational when it's unnecessary, right? Just like Jesus, he withdrew so that he could do what he, what he wants to do, to, to heal, to cure, to, to guide, to teach, to give life. And so, um, and so that's another um, virtue that we should practice, is this meekness. Sometimes people think meekness is weakness, but it's the opposite. Meekness takes strength. It takes strength to realize um, uh, the circumstances and what is most appropriate, and to control your response rather than to react, react with anger or violence or hostility. No, we can control, we can, can choose how we are to react. If someone wants to kill us, just like they want to kill Jesus, we don't have to re respond, re react with anger or hostility or aggression. No, we can withdraw, we can be meek, humble, gentle, and do what we need to do. And so that takes strength, it takes patience, it takes charity, it takes self-control. And it, that's a virtue that we should cultivate. We thank you, Jesus, for not only teaching us through words, but through example, what it means to be meek and humble of heart. Help us to imitate you, to be gentle, to exercise self-control and charity, and to be humble, and to serve you and your kingdom. Uh, we ask you to bless all of us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.